It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay, always there for you. And it's like there is a room ice in the summer. And we're cooking with ice cream in our espresso feel good kitchen today. Amit is with me. Amit, we're making mm. kulfi. Yes, absolutely. I don't know what kulfi is. Well, um, Kulfi is basically an Indian ice cream. So what gives it the Indian touch is, of course, the use of spices, uh, which we're going to play with in a moment. And um, it's not a complex process like regular ice cream. Um, it's, it's a simple process of reducing milk and then caramelizing it. So we get a rich kind of creamy taste. And now, it sounds yeah. good. Where do we start? Because I see you've already got something okay. in this pot. What's in here? So we've got cream here. Now, I've got a, a kind of a very easy instant recipe for you. Right, right, right. Which is fantastic for because... For coffee. Okay. Yes, absolutely. The, the long process would be um, reducing milk to about half the size, which takes quite a bit of time. But I want to show you a really wonderful, quick, easy recipe so that if you are having like a dinner party at home... Which we have all the time. Absolutely. And an Indian theme, you can just whip it up in seconds. So we've got milk, uh, cream here, mm -hmm. which we just bring into a simmering Right, point. and I can see that, okay, it's warm enough. And then what do I do next? What you do next is, uh, now I've given you, uh, we're going to create like a base flavor mm -hmm. and then play with lots of other ah, little flavors. Because I see that there's, you've made flavors from the completed product. Okay, Absolutely. perfect. So maybe come over, oh, come this side. Yeah. Um, so we've got rose syrup, we've got, um, do you know what this is? It's, uh, is it saffron? Well done. <laughs> and, and you know what they are actually? No, tell me. These are actually the stamens of a flower. Ah. So it's got a very unusual smell. Wow, so that's beautiful. A bit of a, like a, 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 a um, leathery, sweet leathery taste. And we've got mango flavor and we're gonna keep one plain flavor. So we're gonna basically just pour that in here. In where, in here? In one of these. Okay, so this um, is our one flavor. And the other one is the saffron, saffron which flavor. we're just gonna kind of crush gently up a pinch. Okay, can I do yeah. the mango one as well? Absolutely, and one we're gonna keep plain. Okay, so one we keep plain. Our keyword for today is kulfi. So K-U-L-F-I, kulfi. <laughs> Think of cool. Think of cool, but you don't spell it with a C because it's with a K. Kulfi, <laughs> two, three, three, seven, two, eight. Okay, what are you doing that side? I'm just adding some crushed um, almonds, used pistachios um, for um, uh, just a different flavor, mm -hmm. and cardamom, which right. is going to complement all these flavors beautifully. So cardamom okay. in there, do I stir it up or anything? Yeah. What do I do? Do you want to stir that up? Yeah, I, I also want to add just I'll use the, the whisk for now. Lovely. Just a touch of cinnamon, just for more flavor com complexity, yeah? Kofi, that's what we're making yeah. in the kitchen. If you just joined us, we uh, are cooking ice cream, literally. We're making it, and hopefully it will look like that once we're done. Okay, so perfect. So I'm stirring this up. What happens okay. next? We're going to just decant that into these four flavors. The, the hot, uh, while it's hot, do I let yeah. it cool down at the, all the or not? The only reason we heated it is actually so that it blends well with these flavors and it melts. The, the rose syrup and just kind of blends. Can I do it? Absolutely. All or right. take a quarter cup because we have a full cup in there and that will divide. Okay, perfect. There we go. Perfectly into So into four. our mango. And on the other side, we've got our rose syrup. Mm -hmm. Then our saffron and the one we're going to keep plain. Our keyword is kofi. Kofi to 33728. Amit is making a. Is it a traditional Indian it is indeed, recipe absolutely. for, I guess? When, when we grew up, we used to make something that was called bompis. Oh, I want to have well, some of that. Bompis was just like <laughs> sugar and water in the fridge. Okay, Let, what do we do next? Let's just actually finish off by. Pouring to the rest. Pouring some in. Do we then decant it into these little cups over here? We're going to actually in the recipe that you would find in the uh, in the your internet site. Yeah. Um, I've recommended that you use um, ice um, ice trays, which will give you lots of little ones. It's almost going to be like a, a box of chocolates uh -huh, with lots of little. Ah, that you can take little bites yeah, of little, it literally. Little and then we're going to actually use instead of a stick, we're going to use a, a cinnamon stick. Very clever. So you so, use a cinnamon stick and you okay, stick it we're in. We're going there. with the theme of Indian here, and we really kind of. How long do you leave it in the in the deep freezer for? Just overnight would do. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so it, depending overnight. on your freezer, but overnight would be just fine. Okay. The final step is to just um, mix uh, one tin of evaporated milk. Yeah. With into into um, a condensed milk. Okay. So the combination of the two basically is what's cutting 
down our process because we've got the caramelization of the milk and the, the reduction of the milk. Our keyword is coffee, 233728, and you can also make it because this is what it looks like. While we're mixing, the rest are on the other side. I'm gonna eat some coffee.